we have now the results from the phase one and the phase two, and a part of the phase two study. We are waiting the results of uh, efficacy, of course, and uh, of uh, safety as well from the phase three. However, what we know from these uh, preliminary data of the phase one, not preliminary, but from the data of the phase one and, and the phase two, is that the main side effects we can experience using miladamethan with our patients are uh, thrombocytopenia and nausea. Thrombocytopenia, um, it was reported uh, in about 15% uh, of patients uh, treated with uh, the intermittent dose schedule. The intermittent dose schedule means that miladamethan is given as 260 milligrams from days one to three and days 15 to 17 each four weeks, every four weeks. Um, so uh, the, the, the thrombocytopenia reported, as I, as I said, uh, it, it was reported in 15% of patients and it was grade three. Uh, no bleeding events were reported with uh, uh, in these um, two trials. So uh, the main treatment strategy for these uh, uh, side effects is of course, when it appears, if it appears, of grade one, more than three, maybe you need a transfusion. However, um, the best strategy to treat it when a patient doesn't need, a, uh, doesn't require transfusion is uh, to um, pause the treatment and resume it at a lower dose. <clears throat> the other problem can be nausea. Nausea can be something that really can affect um, quality of life of our patient. It is reported in about 80% of uh, uh, patients with the intermittent dose schedule. So uh, the most uh, important thing to remember is that some patients refer it as uh, in really different ways. So some patients experience it uh, from the day they start the treatment and um, during the days of drug assumption. And some other patients experience it as a symptoms that lasts also for a few days more after the drug assumption. So. What physicians have to remember about this is to personalize as much as we can the treatment using enzymatic drugs such as 5-HT3 antagonist or corticosteroids, and some patients can benefit also from olanzapine or benzodiazepine.